Okay, so it's December 1st, and I just heard for the first time this holiday season, All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. I welled up. I was like, oh my god, it's Christmas. So it's Vlogmas, it's Vlogmas, or uh, Vlog, uh, it's YouTube Christmas. It's this thing. I, uh, if you are watching this video, you probably already know what it is. You make 25 videos over the course of uh, December till ending on Christmas. And uh, I have done something similar. I did an 84 Days of the Artist's Way earlier this year, which, you know, of course, I'll put a little card or something for you to check out. And I loved it. It made me, it really helped me, um, I don't know, make more videos? Uh, so yeah, so I'm doing Vlogmas, or whatever it is. Uh, and I'm not gonna just, you know, vlog about whatever. I mean, I don't know what the parameters are. I didn't look anything up. But I was going to focus it on, um, oh no, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna necessarily call it one of my favorite, favorite topics, but uh, I would definitely say it's uh, a popular one in my life, and it's one that's been really present and relevant for me lately, and that is, of course, anxiety. I mean, I've had, I've had anxiety for uh, most of my life, and uh, I, I can say honestly, like, it's part of my identity, you know? And, and so it's, I think in a way, like this is a truth I've really come to terms with, is that I think I'm kind of attached to my anxiety because it's part of who I am. It's, I mean, when I was in my 20s, I always, you know, talk about this, this character I used to play, you know, in a way that they're just trying to get my shit together character. And that was this, um, this role I just, I kept playing. And it was like, I was never gonna get my shit together because that meant a loss of identity. But at the heart of that was just anxiety. One of the things I really came clear about with my anxiety is, you know, trying to understand, like, where is this coming from? And I've done so much, like, therapy and work on my own. Like, again, I've tried everything. I have done therapy. I've done medication. I've done ayahuasca. I do yoga. I meditate. I've changed my diet. I've... Um, I do tapping now, you know, I mean, uh, you, you name it, I have given it a shot. There's still things that I'm trying and, and uh, things that I'm uh, exploring uh, to find what works best for me. And that's going to be a lot of what I'm going to be talking about over th these next 25 days is really this, this you know, I don't want to say journey. Like, that's a... These are like 25 YouTube videos, and let's be real, I might miss a day. You know, these are, these are a, you know, a handful of YouTube videos. The number is getting smaller and smaller. So I don't, I don't necessarily call it a journey, but it is, um, it's time for me to, to get a handle on this and to uh, accept that, like, yeah, there might be some identity loss. And, you know, when I did the 84 Days of the Artist's Way, the first day, you know, the first truth that kind of came to me was, like, I'm going to just have to accept that I'm, I need to do things differently, you know? And... Uh, I think it's easy to say that. I feel like I'm coming back to that conclusion again, that I have to be able to be willing to see things differently, do things differently. Like, it's a shift in, in I mean, you know, a shift in consciousness, right? I mean, you know, shifting how you see reality is just another way of saying a shift in consciousness. And I, I guess that scares me, you know? Because I guess, like, so many of us, I think we, we will take the familiar over what's good for us because the familiar is familiar and what's good for us could potentially be new and scary, you know? And familiar is just, I don't know, is more important. Uh, and of course I say familiar and I mean, you know, that it's not working, right? Because like, if it's familiar and it's working, then there's no point to have this conversation. I'm definitely feeling that, you know, this isn't working. Uh, my, whether it's because of some sort of, you know, cosmic spiritual thing going on, I think, at the same time, it's like, well, you, you're still a human being and you still have to do what you need to do to function in this world. And if you've got a job you gotta do or you have you know, people you wanna spend time with or things you need to get done that are only gonna make you feel better, right? There is a part of me that is feeling like, oh, I have, um, I've, been, I've been swimming in these waters too long. Like, I, I think that maybe a lesson here, excuse me, garbage truck, I'm trying to talk about my spiritual awakening. I think one of the lessons that I've really come to about this whole, in this whole process is like, you know, no prince on a white horse is gonna show up and save you from this. Your anxiety is not gonna take mercy on you because you're begging for it to go away. You know, nothing is gonna come in and take it away from you. I. I think that that's different from saying like trusting a higher power and whatnot, but like at the end of the day, trusting a higher power might be trusting that your higher power is trying to work through you and that means you need to do some shit. That might mean that you need to like 
go talk to a therapist or try hypnotherapy or uh, you know, have a, a really dedicated like supplement regime because I don't want to do medications. And of course, I'm listing all the things that I'm uh, really thinking about doing this month. You know, I mean, it's time for me to get some help with this and not try to do this on my own anymore. To really practice what I what I preach and practice what I read and practice what I believe to be true. Ugh, I just don't want to do affirmations. I just and I know the thing you resist the most the most is like the thing you need to do. Like I've been resisting getting a therapist. I've just been dragging my ass like it's gonna help every no one in the history of ever would ever say that getting help is not gonna help <laughs> you know what I mean I'm, get the right help but you know what I mean like if you have anxiety and you say oh, I, I think maybe I need to talk to somebody and work on this like who 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 isn't an asshole would say oh I don't know about that so my point being like this is something I need to do oh I was thinking about when I was thinking about these videos I was thinking I was gonna say something along the lines of like so this gift this Christmas I'm giving myself the gift of and I was like oh girl no stop don't be that person stop branding it just fucking do your thing and talk about it each day uh, so that's what I'm doing anyway uh, I'm super excited to start this because I am ready to fix this shit and uh, or whatever I yeah fix I'm like so afraid of saying well you can't fix it it's like well maybe you can let's find out I mean it's not gonna be fixed in 25 days I know that but uh, you know they say it takes two garbage trucks how dirty is the street? You know, they say it takes 21 days to form a habit. So let's see what happens in 25, right?